today's customer wants to shop anytime, anywhere. That is number one. Number two, today's customer is more knowledgeable than the retailer or the retailer's staff. So that's uh, quite challenging, actually. In terms of the training of the staff, we need to constantly work on making sure that our staff is able to provide that kind of information to the customer who comes with certain knowledge and who also is digitally influenced. That brings me to the third point. So today's customer is connected 24 by 7 with the information and is digitally influenced. So to make, to make sure, it, it is important to make sure that we deliver on our promise of everyday low price and remain authentic. I do agree that given the pace of urbanization that is taking place and given the infrastructure development that is happening in tier 2, tier 3 towns, uh, these towns will grow much faster than the metro or tier 1. I think the trend is already visible. And uh, we, we believe in uh, that trend and that is the reason we continue to expand our store network for wholesale cash and carry business the best price stores into tier 2 and tier 3 towns. So if you look at the overall current modern trade penetration at around 8%, 92% of the trade is still traditional. So India is such a large market that just as e-commerce is here to stay, the physical retail is also here to stay and there is ample opportunity to continue to grow the physical format. The size of the format, the type of the format, the nature of the format, etc. will undergo a change for sure. But I don't see any kind of significant reduction in the retail space uptake in the future. From a, from a wholesale cash and carry uh, site point of view, uh, the density of our customers, that is our members, the, whether it's Kirana stores or hotels, restaurants, that count is very important for us. That's really primary. Proximity to the wholesale markets helps because if you're closer to the wholesale markets, then it's easier to attract the members to our stores. The third th key thing while making the selection is uh, in terms of the visibility. So we have clear golden principles around various aspects and one of the key principles is what is the frontage, what is the visibility and uh, then uh, the third one is uh, the shape and size of land, uh, a minimum acreage that we want. So we have a few golden principles and on the golden principles uh, the site needs to be a green one.